well, I thought about Wally and like, you know, maybe Pegasus was responsible for <laughs> ruining the earth and sending everyone into these pods. I love the- it. Welcome, friends and fans, to another edition of GalaxyCon Live, where we are bringing the convention experience directly to you. And today, we are going back to Domino City with several fantastic guests from the English language cast of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. So without further ado, let's grab our decks and see who we find. Our first guest is an actress whose roles include One Piece, Sonic Rush, and Pokemon. Today, she joins us as the second English language voice of My Valentine, as well as several others. Please welcome back Erica Schroeder. Hey guys, how are you? Hey, hey Erica. Patty. How Hi. are you? I'm great. I'm in a hotel room. Ooh, and a very nice one at that. It's fun, right? Mm, very elegant, very elegant. I'm not sure what those round things are in the background. It's almost they're, they're gongs. They're gongs. Oh wow! So you could do some. You could do some. You could do a sound bath later. I on. could be a one woman band if I want to tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, don't well, don't let us stop you. Yeah, man, go ahead, go ahead and fire it on up and uh, do, do a recording of it. We'll share it on our social media as well as yours. Sounds perfect. All right, Erica, so glad to have you back. Glad to see you in good health and a good spirit. And next, he is a director and actor whose credits include Sonic X, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Pokemon. Today he joins us as several voices, including Maximilian Pegasus. Please welcome back, Darren Dustin. Hey, how are you? Good, Darren. How you be? I'm good. I just redecorated and got rid of my gongs, so I feel oh. like. Oh. Like, oh, that's okay. You got got it with a nice, nice map. Now, is that a is that a particular type of map of the United States or? Um, yeah, it's a map, and it shows um, in each region what the most popular thing that little area is known for. Oh wow! So, oh, that's there, cool. Like, Palm trees, dolphins. It's all written out. Coyotes, gold rush, oil. So that is so cool and educational. Yeah, it was a wedding gift. So okay. I love it. That's yeah, that that's actually pretty cool. So all right. So Does it say so, Albany is known for buttons. Uh, buttholes, it says. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Good Albany, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> to all of our friends in Albany, the GalaxyCon is not uh, for this. It's it's a a this guy's <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> uh, Darren, so glad to have you back. Glad to see you, Thank boss. You. Oh, and <laughs> next, she is an actress and voice director who's going to exclude Sonic X, Slayers, and Pokemon. Today, she joins us as the voice of the optimistic Serenity Wheeler and several others. Please welcome back, Lisa Ortiz. Hello! Hi! How are you? I am well! How are you doing, Lisa? I am very... I'm doing good. Hanging out. Hanging out over here. Chill. I don't think yes. you can see my... My cat is sleeping over here on the side, so... Aww. I'm hanging out over Aww. here. Kitty. What's, yeah, uh, but, what, what's, his, what's his name? His name is Liddy. He's named after uh, Litten from Pokemon. I know I'm a geek. Oh. Don't yell at me. It's a long story. <laughs> but yes, but he's sleeping because that's all he does that and you know eat he's good i want his life i'm working towards it uh, me too. Uh, and i'm also uh i am looking forward to uh to erica you posting the sound bath later from your gongs all right i'm totally gonna listen to that yeah I, I just got i just got into sound baths recently um, i've been really enjoying them so they're on my mind this is my other cat here oh this is this is affectionately known as booty i know oh, i know booty. I, look, I look like i'm staring at it. this is booty uh full name Boudica because she jumps out and look, she's ter- right now uh, terribly bored. She's like very <laughs> upset, clearly does not want to be on camera. I love she's- you. Aww. Aww. You're really putting up with it though. She's just like, yeah, oh, you got a real they are, they, I expression. call them little, yeah, I call them little cogs. They're cat dogs. Cause they <laughs> act like dogs and they're lap dogs and sit on your lap, but they still, you yeah. know. Cogs, I dig it. Yeah. Ah, very dogs. nice, very nice. Well, Lisa, welcome back. I got to have yes! you join us. Glad to have you join us from a stationary position. I know. It is nice to not be in a car, not be traveling. And uh, yes, and not be, I think I was doing my chats the other time, sitting on the sitting on the floor in, 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 in the corner of a hotel room. Not, no gongs in mind. Well, so. I know. Well, it's been almost six months, so happy half birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and next, he's an actor, director, whose body work includes One Piece, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a Pokemon. Today, he joins us as the voice of the stalwart Joey Wheeler and several others. Please welcome back Wayne Grayson. Woo. Oh, wait, oh. Oh. <laughs> 
And there goes Wayne Grayson. I don't have a cat or a funny map or a hotel <laughs> room. So I something to make this special. Uh, it's all good. Oh, Wayne, how you been? I'm good. How are you guys? And gals. We're good. We're good. All right. Think we are all right. Think you're all right. It's very nice. And finally, he is an actor whose body of work includes gladiators, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Pokemon. There's a pattern here. And today joins us as the king of games himself. Please welcome back Dan Green. Hi there. Hello. Hello. I have, I have an action figure of Wolverine. <laughs> oh, the X Force version too. That's right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is that from the three? That from the three pack? Uh, no, that was sold separately. Right. But points to you for knowing to ask. Well, yeah, I've got six bookcases of action figures down. Ah! <laughs> I, just, I just got into customizing some, so that's a whole other trip. Oh, there. Uh -oh. Ooh, we got yeah. We'll have to talk a little bit about that. But friends, <laughs> welcome all of you. Welcome back to the GalaxyCon virtual stage. As always, so glad to have you here today. Our team is going through the chat room, pulling out the questions for you. In the meantime, uh, I don't think we covered this last time, so let's cover this now and do what we call the Fandom Mashup. And Paul! Oh, oh. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> we, get, we, get, we get this question so often that we just made up our own graphic for it and sometimes we just go ahead and use it as a leader and the question basically is if you could combine the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! universe with any other type of fandom could be an anime, could be superhero could be Shakespeare, could be the New York Giants what would you mash it up with? And what would you mash it up with? I can speak for all of us, it's not the New York Giants okay <laughs> <laughs> what is the New York Giants? Exactly. <laughs> er Erica, Shakespeare. Let's do Shakespeare, hey? Let's do Shakespeare, yeah. yeah. We would We would obviously, I'd be on the balcony. Yes, we've done this. below, and you would be Joey as Romeo, and I would be Mai as Juliet. Or Beatrice and Benedict. Yes, Beatrice and Benedict, of course. Or who else? Who else? Uh, Any of those stars. Olivia and Duke Orsino. Okay, I'm done. Sure. Anthony and Cleopatra. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm going deep on that one. All right. Screw one. I'm not as highbrow, so I would go um, the Golden <laughs> Girls, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a Dorothy. We all knew that answer. It's predictable, but I'm consistent. I love her. I love all right, Dolly. so we got a couple of Shakespeare, Golden Girls. Anybody got another one? I Maybe... Uh, you know, we're, we're going to see Indiana Jones 5 soon, and hopefully it'll be one of the good ones. Sure. Uh, so, But, yeah, maybe these uh, ancient Egyptian artifacts get unearthed, and, uh, and, and you know, the monsters are, are coming out in real life. And I think there's a little Indiana Jones, uh, maybe also, I don't know, is it like, you know, with the Portal movie with the Stargate thing, maybe that too. Maybe it's like mm. kind of combined the sci-fi yeah. with the pulp of the 40s. I would yeah. do that. Like yeah, that. If, you put the, yeah. if you put the Indiana Jones movies in order, what would you do? What would be your like top the favorite? Uh, I think almost universally people would agree that Raiders of the Lost Ark is the is the finest uh, of the batch. Um, I I would put uh, Last Crusade right under that. I, I wasn't as I didn't like the Temple of Doom as much as others. And then of yeah. course there's the Crystal Skull. So yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to talk about Bruno. Yeah, me too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd uh, I'd expand that list and include some episodes of Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Some of those good. were good, and some were not. But <laughs> yeah, some were not. But. yeah, I was thinking. I was trying to think of because I'm on a Stranger Things kick right Ooh, now. Yeah. Stranger Things kick, but I'm like, who would be who would be eleven? Would that be you? Would that be would that be you, Dan? Would you be Mokuba? Maybe. Would you? Yeah, Mokuba. Yeah, Mokuba could be. That's my my only thing. I'm trying to figure out who would be the team and who would be the. Uh... I didn't think my crossover out. Okay, I'm just really obsessed oh, with Stranger Things. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I mean, this People oh. at home, weigh in. Right. Why? I mean, How can we do this? Yeah. Justice for Barb. Justice for Barb. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh. No, absolutely. Yeah. Any any more to throw out? Breaking Back. Yeah. Did anyone see that meme that went around with the with when Moon Knight was out? I love that Which, show. It, it's just like, oh, Moon Knight, this this great show about a guy in the uh, multiple personalities who who's empowered by the Egyptian gods. I love that when it was called Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, I did see that. That's great. Yes. 
<laughs> Paraphrase. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Moon Knight predated Yu-Gi-Oh. Come on. Not the show. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but the multiple uh, personalities, maybe not. Well, okay. We're going to pick some nits. Yes, picky, picky, picky. <laughs> hey, well, hey, we are good to go our audience questions, so thank you for indulging in my capricious curiosity. Let's go ahead and roll our first one. And this is going to come from Daniel, who wants to know which Yu-Gi-Oh character would you cosplay? Or maybe any other character from uh, some other anime or fandom or fiction or something you would feel comfortable cosplaying as. If it's I did here. much more crunches, I'd love to do Spider-Man. But uh, no, not now. I'd be out of shape, um, Jake Johnson in the Spider Verse Spider Man. <laughs> I'm presuming that as Exodia, I would be able to do a full costume, so you know nobody's really seeing me because he's huge. I have cosplayed Emma Frost. That was fun, but it, yes. I think most people would want to see Dark Magician Girl, so I think I would have to try that out. Maybe fair. Fair mm -hmm. and uh, yes, That'd be an you, expensive one because the hat alone could be like two right. grand. Right. You know what I'm saying. And Erica, you made a very lovely Emma Frost. I must say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You're very welcome. I would like to someday have like the whole tailored Pegasus suit, or just a nod, something in like a pink or a red to nod to it. You know, but like, I don't know if I do the wig and the whole thing. I'll let you, you can borrow Good. my hair. You could do the wig. You could oh my God, Dan, you the wig. Dan's head. See? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, you nice. We'll Photoshop you on top. <laughs> <laughs> That's his, his, because we have the suit, and then he'll just have oh, his face Photoshop on. Just the like photo will be perfect. Yeah. Ah, uh, there you go. I've only, so. yeah, I've only ever cosplayed She-Ra. That was my that was <gasps> good choice. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. her. And this, and well, the funny thing is, is I did it before the cartoon came out when it was, when the new version was going to come out. And I wore my she costume and everybody was like, who are you? What is <laughs> your and I was like, do you not know she -Ra? She's no. kind of He-Man's brother. And then they were like, he does. He has a sister. I was like, shut up, everyone. <laughs> You'll understand. And then a couple, you know, I think it was like the next year it came out and I was ahead of the times, Whoa. but it was old She-Ra. Transgetter. Classic mm -hmm. Mrs. Melindy Britt She-Ra. <laughs> Clark, classic. Classic yes, She-Ra. classic she Which Absolutely. is how I like to be referred to now, just as classic. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> as uh, young and classic. <laughs> Daniel, very fun question. Thank you for starting us off with that. Ah, what do we have next? Exit <laughs> right, one what's a type of character you would like to voice that you haven't yet? That is type. a great question. Type of character, type. Mm. Hmm. I feel people, like I we've all done people. it all at this point. I mean, I, yeah. we voice dragons and creatures and Been around um, the world. what know. haven't we done yet? That's the question. What haven't you done? Mm. Uh, it, it's rare that I play like an actual human being. I like to play somebody that's got, <laughs> uh, you know, um, like a real life problem and, and right. an arc. I played a lot of donuts yesterday, so I mean, it's like. But even even like a giraffe and an elephant. Even like, some of the things we've done for like NYAB posts and the, and the like, where there's been a sustained narrative, it's always been kind of crossed over with robots or demons. Mm -hmm. I, got, I just do a straight on. I I, I do this uh, an anime based in the tennis world, but even that's got like my character's Loki. Mm. Basic. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I yeah. haven't been a Norwegian ant eater. I mean, I don't know. I have been an ant eater. So. Have you? I no. have, yes. See what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but uh, I, I want to be so, so like when we did Winx, I had Icy and she was sort of the young evil witch. I want to be one of those like grand damn, like been around the world for a couple of centuries, evil, yes. hardcore witches who sounds like they've smoked yeah. 10 packs of cigarettes. Oh, come on, Epic Games. Come on, Blizzard. Come for Lisa. That's it. I just want to actually. I just want to talk like that as a witch. It'd be fantastic. You're I've never done like an adult show, like where you can like, where it's a little irreverent and you can be inappropriate. And oh. I've never been able to be funny in that realm. So I would, I would love that. So maybe uh maybe like a well a Netflix animated comedy something like that. Uh, sure. Big Mouth. Like is you know South Park, Rick and Steve. Adult anything? Swim. Yeah, Big Mouth. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I I am such a fan of, of of Alec Guinness and had 
had just watched uh, the, the the series Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy that the BBC produced in '79, I think it was. And um, he is just, I mean, he's obviously such an amazing actor, but that role in particular, the degree of restraint that he's able to, to use, but still gives such a compelling and magnetic performance. And <clears throat> I'm not saying that I would be capable of achieving that, but I would love to try a character um, where, you, you know, very often we're all asked to do things that are, you know, larger than life and in certain genres that's appropriate, but, you know, really being able to explore the subtlety and nuance. Um, is 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 interesting to me. So yeah, something like that. Dan, if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, it's it is on YouTube. It's called Tunes of Glory. It's also with Alec Guinness. It's oh, cool. He plays like a complete opposite character of his usual kind oh, of. Oh, that's yeah. He's a big, big, yeah, robust guy, and he's like teasing people and ah, yeah, right. Yeah, he's he's using a very specific dialect for that one too, I, which I'm not. It's it's not the usual one that we associate with him. He's yeah. playing a jock. Yes, for lack of a better term. Yes, yeah. Yes. So absolutely. Tunes of glory. Yeah, yeah, he's, a, he's amazing. He's a New York giant. <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, X, fun question. Thank you. Hey, what do we have next? Here's one from Savvy. Ah, how are each of you approached to voice your characters? In an so, alley. I was abducted. <laughs> from behind. Very carefully. Put over the head. Put over the head. I just walked in and started talking. <laughs> <laughs> no one asked me. Yeah, was, the yeah. They just didn't have the. They just didn't have the. Uh, the yeah. ways that asked me to leave. You casting something, hire me. I think we all have phone calls, right? We got. Uh, I was approached sideways. Vinny yeah. and I were like, <laughs> like circulating a, through the hats. same studio <laughs> where the, that was audition. Maybe I think, uh, but mm -hmm. we, some of us were in the mix, uh, uh, the four kids mix. And uh, so, I mean, that's literally how I, my, my first exposure to a dial, you know, a piece of dialogue and imagery from Yu-Gi-Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. For me, yeah, I auditioned work. to replace Megan um, when Megan moved to Los Angeles as my Valentine. I think I actually was voicing my Valentine first and then, then Dark Magician Girl. And then obviously Akiza later, which um, Darren directed me as Akiza, which was awesome. We had such good times. We sure did. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, I I started because you know, on on Yu Gi Oh because Megan moved to Los Angeles, so I thank her for that daily. No, <laughs> <laughs> she's awesome. I love her. That's awesome. <laughs> Megan, you don't have to say that. It. I do though. Obviously. She's like this. <laughs> I think much like much like Dan over there, um, we were uh, a lot of us were already in the mix and kind of got yeah. brought in. I know I was working. I I don't remember what we were working on at the time, but I know I was working on a bunch of other stuff there at the time as well. Yeah, I think I auditioned for Pokemon, beefed it, and but Eric remembered me, and he Eric called me to come in to, to read for Yu Gi Oh. Mm -hmm. I was doing theater, and this was my this was my first VO audition. Just happened to have similar producers and. Uh, yeah. There, there you have it, Safi. Great question. Thank you. Ah, what do we have next? It's up from Aaron. What's your favorite Disney movie that ah. you want? I'll say you can pull from any character you voice to cross into. So if you could put take one any character you voice and put them into a Disney movie, who would it be? Does Pixar count? Is that like the same? Yes. yes. Okay, I think yes. Pixar people, right? Uh, I would uh, I would throw Joey in either Ratatouille or Incredibles. Oh, what? that'd be awesome. He's terrible. Doesn't take me back at all. <laughs> I'd put Hudson <laughs> Hostaccio in Toy Story. Mm. But very few people know who Hudson Hostaccio is. <laughs> I do. Pinata, pinata. Huh. I think um, I owe Kelsey Grammer a check for stealing his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I would have my Valentine play Ursula, but nobody plays Ursula better than Pat Carroll. Nobody. Mm -hmm. And The Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney movie and always will be no matter what. But I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe they could be like, she could be one of the eels with with um, Joey. Joey and Mai could be the, it's the eels, Flotsam and Jetsam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... I guess yeah, full Disney. I would go. It's, do, are we? Do we all know the uh, the Robin Hood from the seventies? Yeah, hell yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. Inexplicably, hillbilly, or I guess, folksy. Yeah, that's a good. Way uh, 
Dan, I don't know if you remember the little show we did called Samurai Deeper Kyo. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, well, I worked Depending on that too. Yeah. Be seriously, country or not as Benatora. So Benatora and Robin Hood would be good. Yeah. So, yeah. Know. And you had the you had the wonderful opportunity to be given mixed direction on what you should do with that okay. dialect. I and think that's, you know, it would be go out wild, but uh, Sean was like, tone down the accent. So, so fun getting mixed signals when you're performing. Yeah. That's the best time. <laughs> Been there, done that, and uh, yeah, Udalali, big fan of the of, uh, of Disney's Robin Hood. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I feel like Serenity just would wind up in Big Hero Six, following them around. That's what I think would happen. She would, she would not do it. She'd be like, "Is my brother here? Did you? Can you help me find Joey?" That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and my accent, can you help me find it? <laughs> they might actually be like, I you grew up somewhere else. You dress this. I, did. I, I know. This, you were in the, you know, the, the, the high rise. But I mean, she'd wanted to be closer sure. to get, the, the, the robot has to have something to help me to do, you know? Sure. Mm -hmm. True, very true, very true. Uh, Darren, we hear from you? Oh, I was going to say, um, well, I thought about Wally -E and like, you know, maybe Pegasus was responsible for <laughs> ruining the earth and sending everyone into these pods. I love the, it. I love it. It seems like something he would have orchestrated. So <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't easily. For sure. Hmm. Uh, there you have it. Aaron, fun question. Thank you for that. Oh, what's next? From Pierce. <laughs> what is your favorite dual monsters card? I just like to stay. I like to stay kunai with chain. <laughs> I don't really know if it's my favorite card. I just like to say that name. Mm. Kunai with chain. Kunai with chain. It's like a, it's like you're ordering something from a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I like the relin the relinquished card because it's got all the eyeballs on it, and it's all is that the one with the eyeballs? Anyways, it's like it's shiny, and you can use the the, the shiny marker on it. <laughs> it's a shallow answer. <laughs> yeah. people what they want. <laughs> What's the multiply that we did in 2014 at the um, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh championship, Dan? That we threw down Ooh, and that? everybody went crazy yeah. over. Yeah, I'm blanking on it. Yeah, well, it's it's out there on video. Oh well, <laughs> somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think any card that gets a reaction from the crowd like that's probably my favorite. Yeah, I'm going to give. My, I've answered this kind of question before, and it. it so sorry, just sorry if people are disappointed for hearing the same thing. But uh, Dark Magician, but only because of like story related reasons. Like in terms of what cards look awesome, it's too hard to choose because so many of them are yeah. killer. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Any other favorite cards? <laughs> still stick. That's like Black Rose Dragon. Dragon. It's very dramatic yeah, and eyes, beautiful, yeah. and drapey. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's like. And it's fun to sign it, to sign the... Act out all the cards, Eric. Yeah, act them all out. You <laughs> <laughs> see a Jinzo. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> Do any of the cards use a gong? <laughs> they should. Hello. <laughs> Can you use the cards to hit the gong? Right. You just flick them. <laughs> <laughs> and now the gongs are complete. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, well, Pierce, there you have it. Uh, fun one. Thank you for that. What is next? And here's one from Galaxy. What is the most nostalgic memory you have while recording for Yu-Gi-Oh? Mm -hmm. Dan, can I tell our story? Go right ahead. So this is how old we all are. Dan and I were recording a CD-ROM. <laughs> Explaining the rules of how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! slash Duel Monsters. Dan and I had just met. We hit it off. We became good friends. <clears throat> really <coughs> early on in the process. They called us in to do this CD-ROM. And we're like, hey, you know what? We're going to learn how to play the game. It's going to be so at, helpful. Wow. At worst, it'll just inform our understanding of the show. The character. The character richer. We're in there for four hours. You know, Joey, how do we do this? Well, I don't know. Maybe we do this. Well, if we do this, that's what. Four hours later, we walked out. Even more confused. <laughs> <laughs> it is, that is exactly what happened. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. CD ROM. <laughs> 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 the script. Right. 
I just got a CD-ROM drive, man. That's all the way. I hope it's okay to mention 5Ds again. Sorry, guys. Of course. I feel Why? Like I'm We're cheating on all of you. But um, <clears throat> I remember. I was in 5Ds. The... <laughs> I know. I remember recording the um, scene with uh, Yusei, with, with Greg Abbey's character, with when they're like in the back of the truck talking. And I just remember I really love the moments when the characters would just talk and not yell at each other. <laughs> and like where there was like a lot of character development that would happen. Like yeah. those are exciting, exciting moments for, for me as an actor, just to like have those moments of connection with the other characters. So I do remember recording that scene. And then I remember actually seeing it for some reason, cause I didn't watch the show but, and being like, oh, really like that, that those moments they had together and the skating scene. I love that whole scene. Mm -hmm. um, but those are just moments that I reflected upon afterwards and, and remembered like, I really enjoyed you know, creating that, that yeah. makes it exciting. Sure. I like those scenes too. And they're, I think they're the most um, theatrical to me or by that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's so most similar to the stuff we learned in school, you know what I mean? How we learned how to act. Like the, the dueling stuff can be challenging and sometimes it's the hardest stuff to pull off, but, but you're right. Those emotional scenes, you can just really sort of key into the, yeah. uh, the harder things. That's, that's why I like acting period, you know? Yes. Yeah, very much so. <clears throat> there, you, there you have it. Anybody got another one? Lisa, did you want to contribute one? She has I'm no trying to think, like, I have, I have no memories whatsoever. Because, uh, <laughs> it like I said, I just showed up and then I, and then I left. No, um, uh, I know that a lot for me, a lot of the scenes, a lot of the scenes that I did were exactly what you're talking about. A lot of them were sort of about my relationship with whoever was there as opposed to like dueling. Some of it was just watching the battles, but there was a lot of stuff that was, you know, just like relationship between, you know, brother and sister, which I always thought was kind of cool. So, yeah, yeah so that that was that was my thing. Cause I was, and until later on, I didn't fight as much as I just, you know, interacted and supported and was there for my family. There you have it. Right on. <clears throat> for myself, I, um, the uh <clears throat> this happens early on uh, uh, but when exodia is first assembled um and and we were working on that moment and and uh that you know of course this is so early on we're all still you know understanding what the show is about and and, and mm -hmm. what kind of stories these are and what we can bring to them and um when when that happened i think i that's when i got a taste of what could be really fun about doing this kind of show and um whether you know whether it's the pharaoh or or yugi or, or anybody else there's this sense of of being in a, in a conflict where tremendous things are at stake and what you there's a sense of urgency and uh and and and, and also a mythic uh, dimension to it and that was really uh exciting you know and fun and i'm such a ham perfect fit so. and let's roll another one and this comes from Jack. Would you want a live action Yu-Gi-Oh movie? And I will I will adjust this by saying as long as you were in it. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't watch that movie. <laughs> yeah. I, I think people would be very, very disappointed if I was playing Joey. <laughs> no. Oh, they would love it. Yeah. They would flip yeah. their lids. At least, at least cameos of you walking around talking yeah. as you oh, do sure. in the back. Yeah. You know, like it's that would be. I would, I could see that, and then I could see wow. the whole gang just sitting by the side narrating the duels. Like, oh, do you think he's using this? <laughs> that would be. I think it would yeah. be. I think it would be. I think it would be fun. And yeah, we'd all have to figure out our fun. Stan Lee moment, like you're saying. Like, what right. is our right. Stan right. Lee moment in the movie? Yeah. Like, right. I don't know. If there was a scene where there was a lunch lady, like a really rude lunch <laughs> lady, I'd probably want to be her. I've know? always seen you as a lunch lady. That's so funny you say that. Eat that meatloaf. <laughs> right? <laughs> what I was born to say. <laughs> so natural. <laughs> so natural, I mean, right? I mean, it also depends, I think, like, I mean, we had the Pokemon movie. I wonder what the, the cards, like what all the creatures would look like. Do you think that, that they, cool. like, like what would you, where where are the creatures that you've seen in other movies that you'd like to see as, as cards, like visualizing? 
It would have like, to be 3D. It would have mm. to be 3D, and the cards would be 3D. Mm. I think you just yeah, you just give me a headache just saying 3D. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it would come out uh, dimension. I think it'd be kind of cool. I I'm picturing everything like the Demi Gorgon right now because I am on my Stranger <laughs> Things kick. So you're watching Stranger Things on another screen, right? To your right, right? I actually am. Yes, right now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. it, it, it yeah. translates well, actually. Though I mean, the idea that these you know monsters are bursting out in the the in the in the real world for whatever reason, and uh, and having that depicted in you know with photo real graphics, that could mm -hmm. be fun. That could be fun. Yeah, I could be like the 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 janitor who tells Yugi that. He's going to be okay, you know, before he solves the puzzle, or, 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 or maybe I'm the guy that you know is the example of what you don't want to become in the gutter. You <laughs> keep on practicing his cards. Yeah, the, the, the guy. grandpa's lover. Well, I'm going to play Pegasus, so I'll I'll be in my trailer if you guys. Need to <laughs> <laughs> you extras can do your thing and. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there you have it, Jax. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Coming to a theater near you. And what do we have next? And here's one from from Holy Cow. What do you like the most about the characters you have played? Hmm. Nobody likes anything. <laughs> <laughs> there's too much to say. There's there's I mean, I, I, I've yeah. been fortunate enough that like a lot of my characters have been the the sidekicks or these these um, companions to the main characters, and they've, there's been a lot of um, loyal talk of loyalty and friendship and uh, and honor and just just being forthright and and, and true to your friends. I, I I like that about Joey. I mean, the, the accent's fun, the, the the goofing around is fun, but when it comes down to it, he's a good friend, and uh, I like to convey that to my children. I like to have that to my actual friends. I like to put it out there. And Michelangelo was like that in Turtles as well, a goofy guy, but he was always standing up for his brothers. And uh, I think we need more of that. And I think I have done that. I've contributed to the world. Yeah. My heart. <laughs> I'll piggyback on that. You know, my and Joey and their friendship and their, you know, I ship them. I ship them. Well, they want they? Fine, mm -hmm. you know, and I think, you know, most people do. And th th their loyalty to each other and their kindness to each other and their fierceness towards each other, I think is pretty, pretty awesome. So mm. I dig that. I always like the villains because, you know, they, they kind of paint them as these hugely bad people who are doing things for no apparent reason other than to just be evil. And then they try to always find a way to justify it, you know, so that by the time you've tied it up, particularly in Yu-Gi-Oh, there's a, there's a reason. Sometimes it's a little, you know, questionable. <laughs> There's a reason why they've done what they've done. Maybe they've made yeah. some immoral decisions, but there's a great cause. So they're not just a hundred percent evil. You know what I mean? There's a there's a raison d'etre. A cookie really? was stolen in the fifth grade and it just didn't go down well. <laughs> <laughs> the, the world will pay. The lunch woman comes back. Um, See? Exactly. <laughs> She's like, I had your yeah, cookie Darren's all along. Darren's absolutely right. Villains are, are often more fun to play, uh, more interesting to play, as they are usually also more active in the story and the heroes reacting to them, right? Mm, yeah. So, yeah, and I think the more compelling the justification, the motivation for the character. I portrayed a character called Genya and Giant Robo in a, in a redub of that, which is one of the most beautifully animated things I've ever seen. Eric was in that as well. Yeah. And, um, I did a, played Yoshi in that. That's right, and and uh, and again, yeah, you know, he he had a great vision for the world, but would go to any lengths to achieve it, right? So mm -hmm. that's the villain part, and he was slowly went crazy over the course of that, which was again for an actor that kind of stuff is fun. I uh, you can't mm -hmm. see it, but I actually have a tapestry of giant Robo like oh, right <laughs> right oh, really? there uh, oh, of, the, so of the of the of the of the magnificent ten attacking. So yes. oh, oh god, gosh. that's, that's good. so good. Yes, I know it is. It is the best anime that nobody has heard of. Exactly. It took them forever to make it, but you can tell because the animation is just jaw dropping, and the soundtrack just yeah. yeah. So, but we're talking about Yu Gi Oh. And I'll oh, sorry. sorry. Right. Um, <laughs> well, with the Pharaoh and Yu Gi, I mean, it's uh, of many things I could say about it. Um, of course, you know, they're really, it's it's the two of them, and it's that dynamic that is is really interesting. And to be able to play two roles in the same show is is such a blessing, you know, as a performer. Um, but I also really like that. 
I, I grew up essentially without a father. Mine passed away when I was four. And so I, I understood the value of when you're a boy and you're looking for something to fill that, that space to a degree. Mm -hmm. And, and so that I was grateful for that. I know for, for me, um, dealing with serenity, a lot of the characters that I've, that I've done in and out of here are strong people in, in a lot of ways. I mean, you have super loud mouths like, um, like Joey. Lena and Slayers or Joey also, but he's, you know me, but Slayers and my, my character in My Hero Academia. But um, it, like the thing about serenity in, in here, which I've talked about before is that, and I've talked to this about people in one-on-one -on -one chats too, is even though she's sweet and she is the younger sort of sibling that's, you know, she is this younger sibling. She does have this core of strength and determination. So she has that through line that lives in her brother too. So when she gets pressed to do things, yes, she does have, you know, she does have the the situations where she has to be saved, but she's also courageous in her own way too. So I like that. And that's one of the things that people have come with, come and told me about her as well, is that as sweet as she is and as mild manner as she is, she still has a strength of, of, of will and character and purpose. And I think that that's, that's something that I like to bring even to to someone who just is what you would normally say like a nice, sweet, gentle person who can still be strong in those situations, especially you know when you're dealing with female characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you have it. Holy cow, that was a great and very thoughtful question. Thank you for that. And what do we have next from Melanie? <laughs> if your Yu-Gi-Oh characters were in a band. What instruments would they play? My gosh. The radio. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Pharaoh as the drummer. Who is the drummer? The Pharaoh. I can see oh. that. I think Dark Magician Girl would just play the triangle because she doesn't <laughs> show up much. <laughs> you know, would it be like a, like a trip if Joey was just a massive musical prodigy and just knew everything? He was like <laughs> Prince. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Prince. We'll leave it at that. Everything. I feel he like I would want to. The the Prince would work out pretty well. I would mm -hmm. be like the surprise fiddle, rock fiddle player. That's what I think. I would play the electric fiddle just for no oh, reason. Yeah. Like, okay. I guess this is my, lead vocals. Lead play, vocals. Oh, lead vocals for sure. Lead for vocals. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think of my course. backup vocals and um, electric guitar for sure. Like she would have to be. Oh rocker. yeah. Yeah, you would be a guitar or a bass player, mm. definitely. Mm. I think Yugi's probably more a keyboard guy than a, any other thing. I love this question. I can see that. Really yeah. love this question. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there you have it. All right, let me follow up with this. What would the band be called? Oh. Joey Friends. <laughs> what did you say? He said Joey and Friends. Joey, Joey and Friends. <laughs> the, Wheeler, the Wheeler family, the Wheeler X. See, oh. there you go. Free I see your face, Darren. You're like starring Pegasus. I'll just have stickers that I tape on the end of every single like, movie. Every I'm band here, and you all are like way back here. <laughs> Pegasus should be in the title somewhere just because it's just too good to not use. Thank you. <laughs> Pegasus. My next role. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Pegasus and the others. Right. If it was Pegasus in the 60s, it could be like. <laughs> If it was in the 60s, it could be Yugi a go go. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Very clever, Mr. Pyramid. I don't know. Yugi, I like Yugi a go go. That's good. You -Go -Go. should do an album. Oh, done. This is the, what, third or fourth time we've said we're going to do an album? Yeah. That you mm. said it. Yeah. yeah. It's going to happen. <laughs> well, there you have it. Melanie. I was involved in the chat, but you're the one who said it. <laughs> uh, Melody, fun question. Darren, I Eric, and I said it. Right. And then Lisa thir thirded it, and then Dan said it. So you're the only one who hasn't said they want to do it yet. But if Wait. you say it, it's it's going to happen, just like Beetlejuice. All right. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> uh, I think we got time for one more. Melody, that's a great question. What do we have to throw us out with? From Jeff Jones. Ooh. If you could create your own Yu-Gi-Oh! game show, what would it be called? Who wants to be a Millennium Item? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh. 
I mean, we can call it the Yu-Gi-Oh! Gong Show. That's just too uh, obvious. Uh, that, but... that leaps to mind, yes, mm-hmm. for you. Yeah. <clears throat> like Wheeler of Fortune? Wheel- oh! Oh! Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> well, what about the pyramid one? What's that one? <laughs> pyramid, yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> Taken, though. They've, they've used that, that title. Oh, this is and, good yeah, so Wheeler, Wheeler of Fortune. I like that. <coughs> yeah, Wheeler of Fortune. That's. I don't think. I think that's top that. I think. I think. Uh, all right, we're good on Wheeler of Fortune. Woo! Yeah. There you have it, Jeff Jones and friends. This has been an absolute delight as always. Any final words for our audience before we take our leave? Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thanks. Peace. Thanks for watching all these years. Write in and convince write in and convince them to join the band. <laughs> yeah, I, That's I'm it. Always, uh, so grateful and uh, so privileged and so surprised that uh, there are people out there that still care about s- stuff that we made so long ago, and it, it really is just such a blessing. Oh, thank true. you all. As always, thank you all for joining us here today. Thank you to our audience for joining us, and thank you for your great questions. Hope to see everybody again soon. Until then, bye-bye, take care, and remember, friends, that smiles are free, so spend them often.